BT Trains here. It's finally here in my collection, the Atlas uh, Metro Car by Level. I really like the packaging. It comes in a nice low profile uh, box. This particular car is uh, road number 6127 and it's the Metro Type 6000 trailer. I love you, Daddy. What exactly does that mean? Well, one of the things I really like about um, Atlas Packaging is they have some information on the back detailing about its construction, the different types, as well as a nice list of features. This is really exciting. I can't wait to get it on my uh, table. This is only a coach, and I'm going to be mixing it with uh, the Cotto Cotto bi-level uh, Pullman cars. And I'm, I'm curious about how they're gonna show up um, with this car lit next to the other cars I have that are lit. Let's get it on the track. Underneath is really cool. The coupler has a, a spring, which allows it to really move around quite a bit. This gives it a lot of flexibility when making its turns. Kato has a similar design with that too, where inside the um, inside the, the box here, the coupler is able to move from side to side. So that really helps these long cars navigate the curves. So I just am really excited here. Let's put it on the truck now. And here we go, all connected to my Kato by levels. I'm really looking forward to getting more of them. But let's go ahead and turn on our track power. And there we go. The large windows really let the, um, the light shine through. My Kados are also lit, so that's a really good bonus here. I wanted a car that, would, that was lit, that way I don't have to buy another kit and have to put a, pull it apart and put it in. Let's go ahead and get my uh, Metro fired up all the way down there at the front. So this will make my fourth car, no, fifth car. I've got four Kato cars and then now the one Atlas. I'm not too sure how well they're gonna work um, on my curves. My outer loop is 24. My inner is 19 and a quarter. So these are supposed to be able to handle those uh, short, tighter curves. According to the box, we're able to do a 22. So definitely can work on my outer loop. And I'm curious how well it goes on my switches. I've got one switch over there by the Union Pacific that allows me to go from the outer rail to the inner rail. And I have another one here. So we'll do a couple tests just to see how well it navigates my, my curves and my switches. Let's go ahead and power up the uh, Metra, making sure that I am, here we go, and yes. That plastic, uh, almost grinding noise you're hearing from the engine, that's just it being cold out here in the garage, even though I have a space heater. This is going to be the last couple days before the whole table gets brought up for the winter. We're moving the Union Pacific off the switch so that we can then see how well we transition from track to track.
Here we go. Taking the turn off. That's a 19 and a quarter curve. The Kato have always done well here, but let's see how well the Atlas connected to the Kato does. And this whole curve here is that really tight 19. But so far, working together with the Kato cars, the Atlas is doing great. Let's transition back over. Really using that flexibility there on its uh, coupler. Let's kick up some speed. Let's flip things around and do some inbound. Well, my S curve there is proving to be a little too difficult I'm probably not going to be able to run inbound with the Atlas and the Kato, but once I get more Atlas, we'll certainly uh, see how that works. Going inbound, it can make the turn. And here we are with the lights turned off. All right, everyone, I am impressed. I'm really looking forward to getting more of these um, Atlas um, Metro cars. They look really neat when they're lit up. I really like how it looks with, when mixed with some of my Kato cars. And as I get more of them, there will be more videos. Please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this little simple review of the Atlas cars and catch you later.